Happy Monday, everyone! We received the two desktop TVs and the table from the campsite, and again, I don't think they really match my room, but once we actually expand our house and have different rooms in it, it should be amazing. I finally saved up enough to pay off the cafe, and I think it's gonna look so good here. Tangy actually seems interested also. I may or may not also know which public works project we're going to work on next, but that's a bit of a long story for another day. When I was reading through the comments on the most recent Calico video, someone actually suggested, or I guess recommended, changing the space around a little with the line of red flowers in the same row or, or column or line, whatever, as the trees. I think it looks much better this way, so thank you so much for that suggestion. Katrina's in town again, and you guys know that we have to stop by and see what crazy fortune she has for us this time. She mentioned something about good luck with items if I'm wearing a cute accessory. My question is, who deems a certain item cute? Isn't that sort of subjective? Now you may have already noticed, but we kind of have this puddle of mismatched flowers here. During my Saturday stream of My Other Town Memory, I had other Mayor Crystal drop off any flowers that she didn't need, so we can finally start really expanding the flower population in Calico. It's gonna be a lot of work to put these into the right spots, though. You know, I have a feeling this week is going to go really well. Bob asked me to bring him something for his room, so I did, and he gave me probably one of the best items in not only this game, but in the entire series, the froggy chair. If you aren't sure why they're so amazing, please watch this clip. Alright, you guys ready? For the ultimate chairs? Her house is glorious. Hmm. <laughs> This will never not be funny. I will do this week after week. If they remove the tooting chair for New Horizons, man, no, bring back the toot. This is so funny. You guys know how I said this week was gonna go well. I think the game agrees with me. The cafe is done, and I have to say, I think it'll look a lot better once this area is a little bit more filled in with flowers. In the meantime though, let's get going with that ceremony. I do wonder how surrounded Brewster is feeling right now. Now in terms of work for today, I'm gonna finally bite the bullet and remove the bridge closest to my house. I'm hoping the villagers suggest a different bridge soon, otherwise this is gonna get really annoying. Uh, for those who don't know though, villagers will not suggest any bridge public works projects if you already have the maximum amount of bridges in your town. Just checking in our initiatives, we can actually complete all of these today with a little bit of work. I first off find all the fossils for today, and of course, I always update my dream town so that one is really easy. The other two are going to require going to the island later on at night, so I guess we'll wait. And here we have several hours have passed. Let's go ahead and listen to Captain's song, shall we? Honestly, the island was really good to me tonight. I found lots of sharks and bugs, and even a couple fish that I have yet to donate. We completed the other two initiatives with ease.
Well, this is gonna take some getting used to. Guess I better get rid of these since we don't need them anymore. And finally, it actually looks even again. Stinky asks for a mole cricket, and lucky him, I find one almost right away again. I'm looking forward to the end of winter, honestly, so that they'll stop asking for these. I find Tangy creeping around Punchy's house, and she straight up admits that she's spying. Once again, I really feel the need to be concerned. When I head inside and speak to Punchy, he actually shouts out one of you guys, so, you know, thanks for whoever it was who was visiting. Heading into the cafe, the old mayor Tortimer is hanging out. It's actually kind of neat that you can find not only villagers, but also other characters hanging out here, and it's something I'd love for them to continue in New Horizons. I found a lost item all the way to the right side of town, and it turns out to belong to Chatter. That being said, I don't think I've ever actually seen a villager way over there, so I do have to wonder what he was doing. Kitty asked me to deliver something to Punchy, and it seems that Tangy's actually still hanging around outside. He seems completely unaware, however, so I guess that's good. I decided to plant some of the coconuts we got from the island the other day on the beach. I might one day go through and create an alternating pattern of bananas and coconuts, but for now this is gonna have to do. Alright, so we're missing a bridge in town and it's gonna get really annoying in terms of getting around, so we're gonna go diving. If you've never heard of the diving trick, it's a way to somewhat influence where villagers or I guess how often villagers ping you with the potential of a public works project suggestion. You simply fill up your pockets with flowers and tools or really anything that villagers will never try to buy, sell, or trade with you. And then you go diving and move yourself as far away from the town as possible. I tend to hang out here for around seven to eight minutes and then I go back into town. If all goes well, the first villager to see you will ping you for something. It might not be a public works project, as they can ask for catchphrases and stuff like that, but it's better than nothing. Unfortunately, we didn't get lucky this time, but I'll keep on trying. This isn't all that important in the grand scheme of things, but can we please appreciate how cute Chatter is sitting on his little couch with his little head bobbing and he's just such a sweetheart, you guys. I decided to stop by the cafe early today and I meet up with Tangy who is thankfully not creeping on Punchy. Brewster tells me that starting tomorrow he's actually going to offer coffee to go, which is pretty cool. Red is also in town today, so we need to stop by and see if we can't get another piece of real artwork. This painting here is actually real, as if it was fake, it would have a carrot for a nose. I purchase it and hope that I remember to donate it tomorrow. Now this next public works project we're gonna work on requires a little bit of backstory. I was bringing flowers over from memory during my Saturday ACNL stream, and after the stream ended, I may have accidentally hit the power button without saving first. Either way, I have the perfect spot all planned out for Mr. Rossetti, and hopefully I won't make the same mistake again. After handing in my fossils, I stop by Nook's Homes and he once again offers a house upgrade, except this time we're getting a second floor, which will be very nice. I'm really looking forward to separating my furniture a little bit more. Last but not least for today, I wanted to incorporate something I've seen in a couple other people's towns, which is bushes surrounding a tree. I'm actually not sure if they can go all the way around, but I love the look of it. I'm going to use alternating pink and blue hydrangeas for this section, but I'll need to collect more before this area is even finished. I'm also using normal non-fruit trees since they look super pretty during cherry blossom season. Hello there you guys, Crystal here. Welcome back to Calico. We are currently celebrating Valentine's Day. And if you don't celebrate Valentine's Day, that's 100% fine. I don't really do much either. Um, but happy Friday. That's a cool thing, right? <laughs> Welcome back, you guys. So we are going to check out our mail here. I know that we have a painting from yesterday that we should probably donate before we do anything else. But let's see what else we got from Isabel. To Mayor Crystal, since it's Valentine's Day, I wanted to give you a little present to show you my thanks for all you do for me. Let's continue making our town a great place to live. She is by far the sweetest NPC ever <laughs> in any video game. You can fight me over that. She's amazing. Uh, we also got the artwork from Red, which is amazing. Uh, I am like 95% sure we 
purchased a real one. It'd be awkward if we didn't, but... From Stinky to my favorite rival, Happy Valentine's Day. I want to thank you for always listening to me brag about how many sit-ups I can do. It's 200. You're the best. <laughs> I appreciate that. I forgot that they would actually send you stuff as well. Uh, Darling Crystal, I'm making your dad some chocolate again this year. I'm really particular about the ingredients I use. You should be too, from mom. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So I'm just going to toss those because I'm heartless. No. Honestly, it's it's a space-saving reason. <laughs> I usually save a lot of the really, really important letters or letters from you guys, so. Uh, so we got chocolate cake, which is always good. We got a pink rose, which is adorable. That was from Stinky. And... We got a cocoa tree. That's kind of neat. I think I might actually save all of those and put those in my house. Um, but for the time being, let me go ahead and donate this painting. Um, I don't want to forget and I don't want a villager asking me for it. Um, we have not had any luck yet with the bridge situation. I'm hoping that we can get a, a just at least a different bridge suggestion soon. Um, but so far, we've had no luck. <laughs> um, diving trick has been slow. But that's okay. These things happen. Um, we're also working on the reset center right now. We started that, I think, yesterday. Um, it's quite a pricey one. It's more expensive than I remember, so I'm probably going to have to do some more island visits, whether it be on stream or off stream or whatever. Also, I believe our town tree grew. I could be wrong. I think it had leaves before, and I think that now that the, uh, the base looks like this, I think I could probably sit on it. I'm not going to sit on it right now. If I remember, maybe we'll do it at the end of the episode, but don't don't hold me to that, all right? <laughs> I'm not the best at remembering. Um, but yeah, otherwise, I'm really happy. We found, fun fact, actually, we found, or I guess I should say I found, two four-leaf clovers this week. We found one in memory on Saturday, I think it was, and then I found this one on Monday, I think, in Calico, so that was really cool. Um, I don't really have good luck with these usually, so... Right, uh, did I unwrap it? I did. Cool. So this is the Jolly Painting. According to my planner app, we didn't already have it, which by the way, once again, because I always get asked, uh, I use ACNL Planner. Um, I don't think it's available on iPhone from what I've heard. I have Android, so... Um, that's just what I've heard from someone in the comment section. I don't know whether that's true or not, but I do believe them, so... <laughs> just putting that out there. Okay, there we go. And that is real, which is fantastic. <laughs> it always sucks when you accidentally donate or you accidentally buy something that's not real. Cool. All right. Uh, I've also had this really annoying thing for the last couple of days where I can't find the fourth fossil. So if you guys see a fossil while I'm walking around that I just kind of skip over, feel free to l let me know. Um, I'm honestly not sure where it is. I thought it might be behind some bushes, but I couldn't find it back there, so I'm guessing it's behind a tree or a building or something. Um, and it won't be in the top left-hand corner of town, by the way. That is the pitfall. Um, cool. I also just remembered, apparently our house should be upgraded today. I think we have an upper floor. I totally did not even notice it when I walked outside. So, ooh, ooh. Cat traffic jam on the bridge. <laughs> Let's, uh... Let's go see if that if that looks pretty good. Hopefully. Um, I have been purchasing furniture here and there, but nothing... I feel like nothing is kind of coming together yet in terms of my room, so I'm happy to have more space to move stuff out into. So for example, I'm loving Alpine as my main room, but I don't think Ranch is gonna stay in here. Uh, you're gonna have to move, you're gonna have to move. There we go. I'll find proper homes for everything later. And like in here, like that shirt, for example, nothing is staying here. Uh, and these are also going to go upstairs. Uh, for now, this is fine. Um, it's kind of a mess in here, honestly, and I, I recognize it. <laughs> so I need to do something about that, but it's... We'll get there when we get there. Okay, so. Um, I know that I have a couple ranch bookcases for some reason. I think I may have been gifted one and I also probably purchased one at one point maybe. Um, but either way we're gonna use them to 
make a little area there. Is this three spaces in here? Or is this two? I think that's two. Okay. Um, we're gonna put this here. Oh, uh, what else did I have? I had the table. Oh, you know what? I could put the tea table in there. And then for the time being, what I could do is I could put the desktop TVs on here and make it look like a little bit of a monitor situation. There you go, you got your dual screen monitors, very cool. Um, square mini table is gonna go there for now. I'm not sure I like that. That is the basic design. Um, I had it not refurbished, unfurbished. <laughs> That's probably not the right word. I had it restored back to its original colors. Um, it was black when I purchased it. I'm not sure if I really like it, but for the time being, we're gonna put a cake on it, which is cool. Uh, we also have this cocoa tree and the pink rose. Let me... I don't really know what the cocoa tree actually looks like, so... Oh, um... You know what? I'm gonna leave it in here for now, mainly because I like its base. I like the pot that it's in. <laughs> there we go. And the other thing I have on me is this, which I'm gonna just display in here for now. I actually like having flowers in my home, but I don't always, um know where to put them <laughs> but I think if I have like really light furniture the pinks and the light blues usually go pretty well with that uh you know this is just a mess just ignore it this chair can probably also go upstairs and can the microphone there we go um you know the one thing I'm still missing though you guys I'm still missing a storage unit I actually don't have anything to like take my items out of if you know what I mean so I have to run all the way to the train station and then all the way back whoops uh if I want to take something out of storage because I've been purchasing a lot of stuff from Timmy and Tommy I just haven't been putting it in my house yet so there we go look it's like my little a little streaming setup minus the proper computer part but it's fine you can you can just use monitors you'll be fine all right cool Cool, cool, cool. So it's currently uh, 12 in the afternoon for me. Um, we are, I guess, playing during a time when all my villagers should be awake, which is awesome because I kept missing Cat, which really sucked. Uh, Kabuki is in. So let's go say hello to him. Make sure all my villagers know that they're loved. <laughs> hey, buddy. He's not just waiting. When Cat came to my place to hang out the other day, it looks like something got left behind. Can you do me a solid and go take it back to Cat for me? I got you. It's good, because I need to, I really do need to get to know her. As I said when I moved her in, we had a bit of a rocky start. <laughs> um, and I do want to like her. But, you know, I, I, I feel like we never get to talk because I always play so early in the day. So it's half the reason why I'm uh, recording this so late. I'm supposed to stream in like an hour, I think, give or take, and uh, we'll see if I if I go live on time. Mm, that's not meant to be there. Okay, kitty, hello. I've been trying to catch a blowfish, but haven't had much luck. I wonder, would you mind getting one for me? Ah, uh, I mean, we can try. I assume they're out this time of day. Cat, I was looking for you. This is something I lost? My three ball tea? I thought I'd lost this forever. This is great. Hey, thanks for making the delivery. It's not much, but please take this. Is it... The same shirt because I've seen that happen before oh hey no I like that shirt that's cool I I already have one but I'm gonna keep it in my pockets just in case a villager decides they want it because I wouldn't mind them changing oh look at how cute you oh lolly lolly that was really mean don't be shoving other people or cats I hear that Cyrus over at retail can customize anything. If you take him your favorite music and a giant clamshell, I still need to do that. Um, but we don't- I haven't really started collecting songs in this town yet, so... How about you, Tangy? You done creeping on Punchy? 
Keep this a secret, pop star. I'm obsessed with fruit lately. All kinds of fruit. You... You remind me a lot of someone else. <laughs> now you know the real me. I get frenzied over fruit. Can you get me some? I got you, girl. Trust me, there's... You know. It's not like there's tons of fruit around us or anything. I'm actually gonna grab her something different, though. Um, just because I do have fruit in storage. Uh, and if you've watched me for a little while, you may already know I hate shaking fruit trees. I love the look of fruit in the tree. So I don't usually shake it if I can avoid it. <laughs> um, it's just a little weird thing I do. Okay, uh, let's give her a cherry. There we go. Oh, and what's this? Half price. Okay. We're not going to be playing that late, but that's still pretty cool. Uh, Tangy, where are you? Oh, there you are. <laughs> I feel bad I'm not offering her an orange, but I think that might be... That might make it a little bit weird. I don't know. What do you guys think? <laughs> My tummy's already growling for it. That's tasty, really good. I really appreciate that you got that for me. So take this, an optical tank. <laughs> All right, thank you. My villagers seem to be enjoying giving me clothing recently. And I think that's a sign of like, well, I mean, not necessarily. I always took it as, you know, if they give you furniture, you know, they're very close to you, they really like you. If they give you clothing or stationery, it's usually like, you know, they're not quite friendly with you yet. I don't know if that's legit or not. It's just how I've always seen it. So take that with a grain of salt. Uh, wait a minute, I was meaning to put these over here. I don't remember if I mentioned this during my update section, but over here I'm doing a little thing where I'm having uh, tulips down here and then a matching colors of roses up here. Um, it's very much a work in progress, so. Uh, at the moment I just need a whole lot of reds actually. So I am officially not sure where to put this white one. Uh, so I am going to plonk it right here and it is going to enjoy its space beside that perfect peach tree. Because <laughs> I don't know what else to do with it. Uh, and I'm probably gonna forget to water it and like that's- that is my endless cycle in this town honestly is forgetting to water something that I've put into a new place. Which by the way I've had people ask why I don't just put on the perfect or the beautiful town ordinance. I'm trying to get perfect town without it as like a challenge because I find it- I, I usually get Perfect Town very easily. Um, when you know what to do for it, it's not very difficult I find. Um, so I'm, I'm trying to challenge myself but we'll see if I can keep up with it. So the other night- oh he's been like shouting people out. Nico from Moon had shown up in my town or in my dream. He seemed like a real civil Civil? Civic leader. I can read. I swear. <laughs> there you go. He's been he's been shouting people out recently, like even off camera when I chat with him. He'll just be like, yeah, I spoke to someone. So I don't know if that means a lot of people have been chatting with him or, or what, but for some reason he's been shouting you guys out. So I say appreciate. I appreciate what Punchy is doing for you, you guys. <laughs> he's such a sweetheart. Uh, okay, that's looking good. I feel like we have a lot of yellow over here. Um, excuse you. Hello. There we go. Um, we have a lot of, like, you know, we have this yellow patch here. We have the yellow around Chatter and Tangy's house. Uh, we have the yellow around the roost. So I'm probably not going to have yellow here eventually. I'm probably going to change that. Because that, there's, there's a lot of yellow. <laughs> um, and not that I have anything against that color. It's just I don't like to have too much of one color in one spot. If you know what I mean. And I even have yellow back here. Like, come on. Anyway, uh, I really like this spot for uh, the Reset Center. It's actually kind of close to where I put it in memory as well. But I love the fact that we have like this little covering of trees here. So if you really didn't know it was here, you probably wouldn't even spot it like and I love that I love the idea of it being very hidden but it's it's there it's there <laughs> um okay just checking behind these trees here I need to fill in those spaces with flowers because that's exactly where fossils like to spawn 
and it's hard to see. I'm also just finding gyroids today, which is fantastic. <laughs> um, love it when you just find gyroids. Oh, hello. Say, Crystal, I think I like a catchphrase that's a bit catchier. Um, I think you stole that catchphrase from someone else, so... Um... Uh, so we have a cat. Um, the namesake, kind of, for this town, Calico, is my Calico cat, Kiara. And she does this little noise where she meows, but she doesn't open her mouth, and we call it a meep. So I'm gonna give you the catchphrase meep. There you go. Um, it's very, very cute. One day I will capture it on, on camera or on recording for you guys so you guys can hear it, but the best way to describe it is a little... It's a meow with your mouth closed. <laughs> um, ooh, we had a new one of those spawn. That's kind of cool. Okay, so that area is looking good. Um, I am 100% not going to find my fossils today, I have a feeling. <laughs> which kind of sucks, but it's okay. These things happen. We also have weeds growing, which is something I'm definitely not used to dealing with since I always have the beautiful town ordinance on. Uh, we have this little section over here that I started. Ooh, hello. That I started yesterday. Um, I think it's going to look good. I think it's gonna look good. Again, I'm not sure if they will go all the way around the tree or if I'm gonna have to leave like an empty space at the back or something like that, but so far this seems to be growing quite well. So that gives me hope. So these, this one, this one, and this one are pink and then these two front ones are blue. Uh, and I think it's gonna look really nice, hopefully. I've always admired it in other people's towns, but I've never actually, I guess, maybe had the space to do it in my own town. Um, I did think about doing it up in this area up here, but I think... Oh, don't don't quote me on this, but I might make this into the campsite at one point, maybe. Um, I like how it's a very, a very even flat space over there, but I don't know how I feel about it being just behind my house. So I'm kind of on the fence about that one. <laughs> um, but, but what else is new, you know? If you guys have watched this far, you know me, you know that I... Uh, take a while to think things out. Um, I'm happy that I, I, when I saw how that back garden area was progressing for, um, that is also not a fossil by the way, <laughs> um, for the town hall, I'm like, oh, I know exactly what I'm going to put back here. It's going to look so good. I'm hoping I can also put in some bushes maybe and make it like really nice and closed off, but we'll see if that works. Where was I? Right. Never mind. I know where I'm going. I remember. Uh, we're gonna go over this way. There we go. That's actually the last one we needed. I was just filling in these little areas that we have here. Um, because I don't really know what else to do in those spots, honestly. Alright, cool. So, I have found a grand total of one fossil. Um, man. <laughs> I am bad at fossil hunting. But you know what? If I really can't find all the fossils I need, what I might do is I might be like, hey guys, if you want to visit my dream town, keep an eye out for my fossils, please. Because <laughs> I've, I've actually had people do that before. What are you planting back there? No. Oh, there's a snowball in that one. Oh, there's, a pr there's so much going on. Okay. Give me a second. That's not meant to be there. That's not meant to be there. Uh, just checking back here to make sure no fossils spawned. I don't trust it an inch. <laughs> Especially like behind these trees here and such. Oh, see, there we go. There's something. And it was actually a fossil, so it wasn't making me out to be a liar, which is great. Um cool. I think what I might do also. Mm, no, I was thinking like, oh, I could put like another bush up here and kinda close in this area a little bit more, but I kind of like having this spot here to go down if I really wanted to, to the beach. I don't know. This town has been very, very interesting. I will give it that. It's been very interesting in terms of plotting stuff out. It's very different from towns I've had in the past, so I've not really known how to how to do things, I guess. Uh, okay. Two fossils out of four. 
Um, yesterday I found three, and for the last couple days I've been finding three, so this is actually worse than before, which is not that good, but oh well. Okay, so I have a white rose and a yellow rose. Yellow roses were going around his house, but it's pretty much settled. I might plop it here for now. Uh, and white roses were going around Punchy's house, but Punchy's house is actually filled up in terms of roses, so... Uh, maybe I'll... I could do black and white checkerboard for around the cafe. Like, like an actual, like, checkerboard? Is that checker or chess? Either way. Um, instead of black and yellow. That might make it look dull, though. I'm not sure. We'll have to see. Uh, okay. Let's head up. <laughs> Let's donate, or at least have assessed the couple fossils that we found. Right, I just was making sure I didn't need white or yellow here, which I don't. Um, I do need white tulips, though. There we go. And I don't think I updated my dream address, or my dream town, sorry, yesterday. I probably should have done that. It just hit me, but... I guess now that you guys are hearing it, you're probably only going to be able to visit the Friday save anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, so none of those need to be donated, which is great. It means I can earn some bells. Uh, I'm gonna need to really start saving up if we want to get that reset center built anytime soon. And now that I'm thinking about it, by the way, I actually don't think the reset center negatively or positively impacts your perfect town rating. I could be wrong on that. Um, I know that certain public works projects will negatively impact it at least. So say, for example, the garbage can for some weird reason. Um... And the, I think the illuminated stuff as well. A couple things do. Um, which is honestly something I hope that they remove from New Horizons. I like using the options that you're giving me. <laughs> I don't know. It's something I never really appreciated. Um, just let, let me use all the things, you know? I always want to have a garbage can, but I want my perfect town at the same time. I know that you probably could, but still. Okay, update this really quick for you guys here. I'm trying to imagine, um, if you guys have any ideas about this, feel free to let me know. I obviously, you know, I've done a lot with the Dream Suite over the years, whether it be sharing my dream town with you guys or visiting your guys' dream towns. Um, I can't imagine that they'll outright remove this feature from New Horizons, but I'm trying to figure out how they would implement it. If it would be the same, if it'd be different. Um, if you guys have any ideas, I love reading them. I might not always be able to comment or reply to every single comment, but trust me when I say I read every single one of them. Um, at least I try my best to. And uh, if you guys have ideas about it, or ideas about New Horizons in general, what you want to see, what you don't want to see. Uh, I love reading about it. I love the hype. I love the Animal Crossing community's general feeling right now because it's been absolutely off the wall and crazy. <laughs> Cool. Okay. Uh, I don't need to worry about that right now. Uh, we have space to go shopping. I've been buying quite a lot lately. I have had no luck with that alpine stuff just yet in terms of wallpaper or flooring, but it's fine. We'll get it eventually. Uh, can I refurbish that? I might be able to. I'll have to check. I don't really want to buy it if I'm not sure. <gasps> oh, yes! The game heard me complaining. <laughs> I'll take it. I'm happy. Cool. Alright, what else do you got? Modern wall. Okay, no thank you. And we also have... Imperial tile. No, show me. No, no, I, I think I'm good. 
And stone tile. I don't think I want that. I lie, I want it. It's gonna be for my bathroom. <laughs> I, I have a nasty feeling I might actually be internally copying or copying the um, the bathroom I did in my old town Rosewood, I think. Or Rose Wolf, I can't remember. Um, but I really like the look of it, so... I, I have a strange feeling I'm getting all the same furniture and the same flooring and wallpaper and such without really realizing it. I'm trying to remember what it looked like and I'm struggling, so... Alright, are we getting that golden axe today, Leaf? Come on. Make my day. Make my Friday. Aw, oh, man. You know what? You're still amazing, so I don't really care. Yellow lily, I'll take that. We need those. I need to really start focusing on breeding my hybrids together though, you guys. I've had very... I've had decent luck. Uh, my issue is that I can't always play. So for example, this week you didn't see an update video or an update section for Saturday or Sunday because I didn't play those days. And I actually lost some hybrids and it sucked because <laughs> I wasn't online to water. Um, and I know I could easily get around that if I turned on beautiful town ordinance, but... I'm stubborn, so deal with it. No, I, I'm the one who has to deal with it, honestly. Um, cool. So we got a couple things. We got the wallpaper we wanted, which is going to be nice. Um, let me go ahead and put away a couple things here, though, because I'm not going to need all of this. So this is kind of the section where I've been storing uh, stuff. I'm going to put this away for now. Uh, this goes into this section in here. Uh, this I don't want to sell, so I'm going to put it separate. And I know I had a yellow lily. What was the other one I bought? I totally was not paying attention. <laughs> uh, we got a white cosmo so do, 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 thinking <laughs> cosmos not pansy right these are pansies i always get uh, cosmos and pansies confused unless i've i'm thinking of the correct way and i'm second guessing myself which is entirely possible these are cosmos right Yay, cool. So I actually only need four more of those, and then this entire area is done. I don't have to worry about it. It's settled. I don't have to check for fossils or anything back here. Uh, which is really nice. Uh, and then the other one I got was a yellow lily, which we're putting around Chatter's house. There we go. And while I'm here, I'm also going to stop by retail and sell off this stuff, because we don't really need it. There we go, 10k, that's actually not that bad. Um, we could be doing a lot better, obviously, but uh, if I found all four fossils, <laughs> but it's okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's the sort of thing where I'll probably stumble across it as I'm just playing casually, and then I'll be like, oh wow, how did I miss that? Because that's what usually happens. Um, let's head back to my place here. And are you still creeping? Man, Tangy. <laughs> I think Tangy's one of my new favorites. She's kind of weird, but I like her. I like her a lot. Um, I love giving these guys little backstories and, and a little bit more character, <laughs> maybe. Okay, so um, now here's 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 the thing. All right, bear with. <laughs> See, here's the thing. I like Alpine, but I don't know if I like the refurbished Alpine with this wallpaper. And this is why in New Horizons, please, 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 <laughs> please let me refurbish flooring and wallpaper if refurbishing is still a thing. Because this does not match this anymore. At least in my opinion. I don't know. I'm picky. You guys know this. Um... That's really a big want for me in New Horizons, for sure. Um, but I guess, you know, we have like, what, 35 days? 
no, 30, 34? 34, I think. Until New Horizons comes out, and, uh... We're getting close. <laughs> um, soon I won't be like, oh, I wonder, it'll be like, oh, I know. I know what's in the game. I know what's gonna happen, which is kind of cool. Hi, cat. <gasps> oh, hello. Public Works Project, please. Hey, do you want my gently... Oh, well, you know what? A friend of mine from back home, he had to close up his shop, so I, uh... Took a bunch of stuff off his hands. Should I be concerned? How about it? For free, of course. Seems legit. <laughs> really? Uh, I mean, thanks. This will really help me out. I'm incredibly suspicious, and I feel like this is stolen merchandise. Man, my place is looking like a warehouse. Thanks again. Uh... Alright. I'm just gonna go this way now. I was gonna sit on that tree, but man, I don't trust her. What if she tries anything with that fishing pole? You never know. Oh, hi. You never know. I'm gonna go sell off this shirt. I really don't want it. <laughs> I, I need to pass this off to someone else. Reese, I'm sorry to do this. I'm sure you get a lot of other shady stuff because it all comes probably filtering through Nook at some point because honestly, let's face facts, he's kind of weird. Um, yeah, there you go. Hi, Stinky. I'm definitely not doing anything shady right now. Just living my best life. I'm gonna go now. Bye. I love you. Cool. Okay. <laughs> I think what I'm gonna do... Uh, is I'm actually gonna stop by the campsite. I've been neglecting that recently. I've been forgetting about it. Um, but I'm hoping that a certain RV will be here if we're really lucky. Uh, no, no, we're not lucky. We are not lucky. That is the exact opposite of lucky. That's a very cute bucket though. Um, I'll head in and show you guys anyway, but fair warning, he's a little bit, I find him scary. Personal opinion, but I find Zipper scary. Oh god. Camping gives Zipper a chance to finally get out of that stuffy old costume and, uh... We're being told on no uncertain terms that it is not a costume. Yeah, um... I don't think I want anything. Oh god, he looked at me. Zipper is just weird. <laughs> Which leads me into, I think, my question for this week, you guys. Who do you think Zipper is? What's your theory on Zipper? I want to hear it. Comment down below. If you guys enjoyed today's episode, uh, feel free to leave a like or subscribe even if you're new. Um, if you want some more Animal Crossing content from me, I stream Animal Crossing three days a week on my Twitch channel. Uh, link is down below. We stream every Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday, 2 p.m. EST. Um, Otherwise, you guys, if you have any comments or anything like that, suggestions for the series, feel free to post them down below as well. I love reading them. And yeah, thank you guys so very much for hanging out today. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next week.